Hey, what's up, people? It's good to be with you again. It's Richard and back once more. Welcome to Vapor Friends, the usual. And a uh, quick sip of my coffee. Just realized I'm using my Christmas mug. <laughs> with Christmas just around the corner. to show off those twinkly lights at the back of me. Anyway, uh, good to be with you again. And today, we're going to be um, taking a look at something very interesting, very exciting, which uh, has been a constant companion of mine for the last month or so. A big shout out to D. Jagath, uh, one of our subscribers on the channel who introduced uh, this phone application to me. You can also download it on your iPad, even your Android devices as well. And uh, what we're gonna be looking at is something called the Microcoil Pro by uh, Power Vaping, Swiss Vaping Precision, okay? So this is what we're gonna be checking out and it looks like this on your phone. All right, just to talk a little bit more about this application. Uh, this was introduced to me and I've been using it. It's very, very handy. It's very accurate as well. Uh, this is designed by a gentleman from Switzerland by the name of Vince uh, Whale. <laughs> Not the kind of whale that you're thinking of in the ocean, but um, he is uh, from Switzerland and uh, you know that very expensive watch Raymond Wheel. I don't know whether you've heard about it, but it's the same surname as in W E I L. So Vince Wheel is the designer behind this uh, phone application called the Microcoil Pro. It is based on mathematical and scientific calculations. Very accurate. All right. Um, just let me tell you who's going to benefit from this. Mostly newbies who's um, moving on to rebuildables, whether it be a dripper or an atomizer, okay? This is to do with building your micro coils. Basically, it's all about heat coefficient. So what is heat coefficient? From the word itself, I mean, heat coefficient, heat efficiency, it's efficiency for the amount of heat that should be on your micro coil. So that's it. If you get the right amount of heat on your micro coil, you would get the best vape uh, without burning your cotton or your silica or things like that, or even your um, stainless steel mesh or stainless steel rope. Okay, so this is what uh, we will all benefit from. And uh, how it looks, as you can see, is a little diagram like that for you to just uh, punch in all your data, and then it will show you whether you are doing it right. Um, this application actually cost you four ninety nine US dollars. Okay, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. So, for that, you're going to get the perfect vape. Why not? You know, I will put down the links of all the links. In fact, uh, in the description box below. And right now, we're going to get you into the close-ups. Right to um, just let you have a brief idea of how I would use this application with. The way I coil. In fact, um, there's another reviewer, Robert Ellis, the Arm Vapor, has also come up with a review. You might want to check out his video as well. So that's what we're going to do. All right, let's dive into the close ups immediately and check this app out. What I have here is the iPad, which I'm going to show it to you because it's easier for you to see. And this is the icon of uh, the Micro Coil Pro that you have here, this little cross here, which indicates, of course, uh, Swiss. This just tap it and it goes into power vaping, Swiss vaping precision. This is the main screen and it goes into this, which is your micro coil calculator, which stays right here. On the right hand side, you see this icon with a circle with an arrow on top. It says uh, to reset all your settings to the default settings. This is your settings page. You can go into all these other um, features as well. Uh, with the atomizer, with settings, and also this uh, little icon here. If you tap it, basically informing you of all the updates that they have done, all right? You go back and you get into this main page. So you see the green boxes, one, two, three, four, and you see nine circles here all together, which I'm going to explain to you what they are. You have your heat coefficient, which is uh, in the sign of uh, this little fire here. Then you have the ohm 
icon of course your resistance and this is how much the, your battery is being drained off in ampere and this is volts the amount of uh, volts it needs to f uh, for you to fire up so that you can get to the right heat uh, amount of heat that you need for the perfect vape all right so that's the sign there and you can switch from volts to watts here this goes up here this goes up here by going into the settings earlier on, which will come to shortly and apart from that we have all the circles all here lined up and the first circle that you have here is your coil diameter which is the size of your drill bit and if you can see here it's in inches and for those of you who likes uh, what to use millimeters all you have to do is just tap it and it goes to mm so 2.4 mm coil diameter or you can minus bring it down to 2 millimeter and then we have wire diameter wire diameter is um, you can have it in gauge or you can have it in millimeters as well all you got to do is just tap and slide it okay you have a 0.32 millimeter which is 28 gauge uh, so if you're not familiar with the millimeter, uh, millimeter size then what you can do is just swipe it and it turns to gauge so you're at 26 gauge or if you'd like to increase it to 28 gauge all right so here you have the amount of wraps you do for your coil six wraps okay coils single coil dual coil basically that triple coil again plus and minus all right all the amount of coils you have on your eddy this wires single wire or double wire for a normal single coil you use single wire okay the wires um, if you have let's say uh, a twisted coil you're doing twisted coil that means you have two wires so you put on two wires here that's what it is all right so we'll put back to one which is normally what we use a single wire and uh, leg and lead leg and lead basically is the amount of wire from the center of your coil to your negative post this little circle here wire type Okay, wire type is what kind of wires you're using. So if you want to change the wire, just tap plus, canthal, you have canthal D, then you have nichrome, tap it again, you have inox 316L, tap it again, you have your G-plat wires, titanium wires, titanium 1, titanium 2, your, uh, nickel wire 200, if you're using the DNA 40, you can actually use this to set it, and back to canthal wire again. Okay, watts, 14 watts, 15 watts, all right. So, and the last uh, circle is this little uh, icon here, tap it, and basically save coil, that's what it says. Please provide a name for this coil, you know. So you want to type in A, B, C, D, D, whatever name you want to name your coil, let's say it's a uh, K fun or whatever you want to name it after you've uh, you know done that and you want to keep it in your library so that you can bring it up again if you want to recall the same thing again just hit OK and it says coil saved. The coil has been saved in your list and you want to bring it up the next time just tap this little icon here and that's your coil here. Alright so let's go to this icon here right now tap it and it goes into all these three red circles probably what you're seeing is orange if I'm not mistaken but it's actually red and you have this icon here which is the icon of an atomizer so when you tap it it brings out from different countries all the big people from different countries who has done um, coils for all this uh, RBA or RDAs as it says here and back back to the main screen all right and let's bring this out again Okay, so then you have the settings. Settings, identification, you put in your name, Richard Ng, or whatever, ABCD. Default power dial, you can have it in watts, which I have it now, or in volts. The default comes in volts, and if you have volts, if you just go back and take a look at this, uh, this chart again, you see volts is down here, and watts is here. So basically, if you have it in this configuration, volts, you want to have let's say for your mechanical mod your discharge rate for your battery is 4.2 I mean the power is 4.2 just set 4.2 and you're good and you have this build here with 28 gauge wire 2 millimeter uh, what do you call coil diameter 7 wraps all this is in green 
you're good to go. The sweet spot. That means you need 16.67 watts to, uh, to power up to get the co heat coefficient to make this at its, um, what do you call, optimum performance. All right, so going back again. Okay, so that's volts and watts, default power dial. That's what it says here. Next, you see battery drainage indicator. All right, so right now, I have it on Sony VTC5, as you can see here. If you tap this, it shows you a list of all the batteries from A to Z. I'm going to remove that. If you don't want any batteries, just tap the X icon and it says none. All right, so how does this relate to the first page? Go back and you see there's nothing here. And if you do have a battery that, let's say, you're using on a mechanical mod, just type in there AWI MR18650. Knock on this, or rather tap on it, and you get the thing out here. Go back, and you have this little battery sign here. So basically, if you're using that battery, and if you just tap on the battery lo uh, icon, it says battery name, how long before the battery runs out. And if you close it, if you see this little green, uh, what do you call, indication here, it means you're good to go. If this turns orange, that means you've got to be cautious. If this turns red, you've got to be very, very cautious. And if you see all X's on the battery, that means whatever you have configured here, very dangerous. Do not use that battery that you have just um, put in, all right? What else? Now, let's say, for example, we're going to build a coil right now. And we're going to use um, 2 mm drill bit, 28 gauge. What if you were to use 26 gauge wire? You see what happens? 26 gauge wire gives you orange, 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 green. All right. If you tap on the question mark, it will bring you to the screen. This is your heat coefficient icon. This is your battery icon, which I've just showed you. This is your Facebook page, and this is the resistance, your ohms, your coil is. This is the amperes uh, icon, which tells you, you know, how much of amps uh, your battery is being drained out of. This little icon here tells you the kind of soft wick you're using for soft materials, the wick like cotton, silica, your cogendo cotton, things like that. Anything that's soft uh, as a wicking material. This is for your harder wicking material, like your stainless steel mesh, your stainless steel ropes, and things like that. Last but not least, this is the amount of power you need to power it up to get the optimum heat coefficient. All right, so this is in watts or volts. You have all these four different colors, and what you want to aim for is the green color. Because blue means vapor, poor, taste, poor, and responsiveness, very slow, very slow. That means your coil heats up really slow, so this is not what you want. If you're into orange or amber, as uh, it's said here, vapor, medium, taste, also medium, responsiveness is slow. So this is also something you don't want. Green, vapor, very dense vapor, sweet spot. That's the taste for you that you want to uh, achieve. Responsiveness, swift, immediately the minute you power it, it goes red, glowing. Red, not what you want as well because it's going to give you hot vapor, risk of dry heat, and it's going to be super fast responsiveness and uh, it'll quickly just light up and burn your cotton and things like that. So basically, at the end of the day, you're looking for something that's green, all right? And uh, we have this resistance, you tap it, and the resistant ohm is an important factor with regard to the vapor density and the flavor. In combination with the heat factor, you can achieve great results. This is the uh, what I call table that it shows you here. Your green uh, colored uh, chart here says normal, safe, normal, normal. That means your range is normal, your safety is safe when you're in the green zone, your battery is normal, your uh, expertise is normal. If your resistance goes into the orange section, what it's trying to tell you is your range, you've gone into sub-ohms, all right? Take heed, be careful. Anything that's below one ohm, it's gonna turn orange. So basically, it's just saying that. Um, safety, be cautious. Battery, use VTC four or five type. Expertise, 
these are for advanced users expert okay if you're into sub ohm for advanced uh, vapors last but not least if you are seeing red then it says deep ohm all right attention vtc four or five uh kind of you know batteries recommended and this is master expertise so that's the uh what it call ohms if you tap on it this is what's going to come out last but not least also same thing this is the volts and the watts okay this is your wattage or your volts okay going back again tap this and it goes off then what you have here is your heat coefficient is 0.33 watts per millimeter square it's in orange and what does orange tell you when you tap it here your vape is going to be medium medium and your responsiveness is low that's what it says all right and your ohms be cautious because you're in sub ohming your resistance is 0.69 ohms all right use the right battery and so forth your amperes is the amount of uh, power it's draining from your battery is 6.12 ampere being drained out all right and you look at the battery here it's green over here that means you're safe if you're in orange be very careful but if you're red also super careful if it crosses no you're not allowed to use that kind of battery for your setup all right you need 25.69 watts to power to maintain uh, get its optimum uh, what do you call results with the heat coefficient all right but in any case this is not what you want so what are you going to do if you get this you think oh seven wraps is going to work no it's not increase the wraps and see what happens then this turns green all right now we're talking seven and a half wraps and you're into 0.73 ohms you have this in green that means you get dense vapor it's going to taste good let me take out what i should it says sweet spot and your responsiveness is sweet so let's say you bring it down very low six and a half reps six reps red and red will tell you hot risk of dry heat super fast no that's not what you want heat coefficient has to be in green okay if anything else is in green it's a bonus for you 0.73 don't panic don't worry it's in orange it's just telling you take this out you are sub ohming be cautious all right use a vtc 4 or 5 type battery 18650 um, these are for advanced vapors so that's what it's telling you so don't worry basically this whole thing is going to keep you safe that's the micro coil calculator for you all right so guys by that we have a better understanding of what the micro coil pro is all about and it's very handy, especially for newbies. It'll also keep you safe as well in case, you know, you, you, you need better batteries because of the amount of uh, uh, power you're draining from your batteries and things like that. So for newbies going into Rebuildable, I strongly recommend you to download this app, which is just going to cost you $4.99. Anyway, don't worry if it all looks very intimidating to you, no. That's because I've been just going through it so fast and you might miss out a few points here and there. But if you do download the app, you know, take your time, you know, just play with it. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. If I can get the hang of it, you will be able to. No worries. All right. So um, that's it. Yeah. That's the MicroQuad Pro uh, by Power Vaping, uh, Swiss Vaping Precision uh, done by Vince Wheel. All right. So vape safe and have a great day. Bye for now.